Have astronaut first names ever used to decide crew assignments? Thinking primarily of the Apollo missions with this question, but could be expanded in an answer with a more general response, if appropriate. With several Apollo-era astronauts sharing similar-sounding first names Al, Alan Warden, Bean, Shepard, Ed Mitchell, White, Jack Schmidt, Swigert, James Irwin, McDivitt, Lovell, and Walt, Wally Cunningham, Shira, was there ever crew selection thought to not have similar-sounding first names on the same mission? I would think in case of emergency or other tense situation, having unique first names would help reduce confusion as in, which one of us were they talking to when they called by first name? I do see that the Walt, Wallies were on Apollo 7 together, but that's the only instance I can find. Just curious is that sort of consideration was ever taken into account, or has been since then. Signs point to no. There's an excellent overview of the rather complicated Apollo crew selection process in this answer, https colon slash slash space dot stack exchange dot com slash a slash two three one four nine slash six nine four four. Then throw in this story of those offered Apollo missions who turned them down, which complicated the story even more. The moonwalkers who could have been which states that Borman, McDivitt, and Collins were offered lunar landing missions but turned them down. There's a horrifying typo in this article but I consider it credible anyway. Bottom line, there was too much involved in the decision process to worry about their first names.